These names aren't an accident. It looks like an ordinary mountain peak in the Rockies. In fact, it doesn't have an official name. But for years, the unofficial name this peak has been called has been quite disturbing for some to hear. Squaw's tit. A once commonly used name, according to the author of this book. And um, if uh, something got on a map, and if the map was not seen that regularly, it could uh, probably escape notice, so it wouldn't be considered consequential. Hikers still use the name to identify the peak, even if they're uncomfortable doing so. And it even appears on Google Maps. A small petition was started to try and change the name, but so far there has been little traction. Indigenous people are saying, don't use this word against us, right? We can see where the root comes from in Indigenous language, but the way that it's used and has been used through this process is really damaging. This would not be the first time a mountain in the region was renamed. Hauling Peak, named for a cook who summited the mountain during the construction of the Canadian Pacific Railway, sits just south of Canmore. It got that name in 1997. For years before that, though, it was called Chinaman's Peak, that name being made official as late as 1980. So sometimes it's just we get so used to these sort of derogatory names that we don't even connect them to real people. If we start to see these names, we sort of get, you know, we don't see them anymore for what they really are. But renaming something, even a natural feature, can be a challenge in itself. They had a problem with uh, squaw names up in Maine. And someone said, OK, what we're going to do is to rename them Moose. Uh, they said, well, that's maybe just a bit too simple. And most importantly, the feature likely already has a name. After all, people have been living here much longer than Europeans. Remembering that there are indigenous place names for these places, you know, the, that these places aren't solely known by the derogatory names that we've come to know them and that naming changes right and that the flexibility around naming is a good thing to have while the clouds that often shroud the peak will come and go the controversy around names like this and others around the country won't pass so easily near canmore jonathan muma city news